Alrighty guys, I'm down here in the garage making a quick video because this has by far lately been the biggest question every single one of you guys have been asking me in the comments of every single gig log where I'm doing this sort of setup. And that question is, how are you mounting those lights on top of your speaker? Those are the Shave Wash FX2s. Back in the day, I actually used to also use a little mini wash moving head and also put that on top of the speakers. And no, they were never just setting up there. They were actually physically mounted up there. And I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So right here is one of my Shave Wash FX2s. I love these lights because they can literally light up pretty much a whole gym just with two of these. Everyone's been asking me, how am I mounting them on top of my speakers? I'm doing that with fly points. Speakers like the JBL SRXs and the JBL PRXs and the Eons have fly points. The SRXs and the PRXs have the fly points already built into them so that if you take a Allen key like this, you can unscrew this. And now you have a place to bolt your light down to like I have done right here. Fly points for you guys that don't know are what are used to actually suspend the speakers from the air. So if you wanted to fly the speaker or hang it off a of truss or mount it in a permanent application in a venue, you would hang it. And you would hang it by attaching chains or attaching cable to the fly points, which are these bolts right here. Now, not all speakers have the fly point bolts already in them. Speakers like the Avante A15s, which I have right here, just have the threaded ports right here for the fly points. So you would have to go buy the bolts and bolt them in here. This is the same case for the JBL Eons and I believe for the EV ZLXs. So there you guys go. Basically, I use the fly points is the answer to your guys' question on how do I hang lights on top of speakers and you guys can get very very creative with this because you could do things as far as just bolting lights to this you could also bolt a t-bar off of this let me show you something right here i have an adj o clamp and i took the wing nut off of here because this will screw into that fly point so right here we have the Ivante a15s we can just put that there and we can screw this into here. So now you can imagine the possibilities now that you have an O-clamp here of what you can do. First off, like I did here, you could get a T-bar. Obviously you would unbolt this, but you could put two O-clamps here and you could mount a T-bar across and then you could hang a mover on both sides of the speaker or lights or pars or whatever. So as you guys can see, you can get very, very creative by just utilizing the fly points that are built into your speakers. Now on a quick side note right here, not all speakers have fly points, but majority do. The ones that don't have them are the very, very, very cheap speakers out there for the most part. I'm talking your Rockville, your Behringer, and your Harbinger, the, the very, very bottom end speakers don't tend to have fly points. And lastly, one other note on fly points, they're not just on the top of the speaker. Like on the SRXs, we have them on the sides of the speaker. We have them on the back of the speaker. You can't really tell it, and we have it on the other side. On the Avante, we have it dead center on the back. So you guys can be creative with this and look on your speakers and figure out where your fly points are and get creative. One thing though, I gotta give a quick shout out to Brian S. Red back many, many years ago, like five years ago when I was first starting out and I started mounting like lights on top of my speakers. I found that out from Brian. Brian S. Red was the original one that inspired me to start doing this sort of thing and it's very creative and the biggest thing guys is it saves you on setup time. Like I've explained with this setup right here, the main goal of this setup is to be very, very quick and efficient. It's got big lighting that can light up just about any room possible and it's quick and easy to set up. I throw them up on top of two speakers, put two scrims on the speaker stands, put my DJ booth up and I'm done. And by doing that, I can make that package more affordable for my clients and for my customers. So this short video turned out to be a little bit of a longer video, but that is how I mount lights on top of my speakers. But anyways guys, that's the answer to the most asked question on the channel right now, and that is how do I mount lights on top of my speakers. If this video was helpful for you guys, please share it on Facebook, share it with your friends, share it with all the people you know, so they can learn how to mount lights on top of their speakers and save themselves some time on their setups. Like always guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. 
And like always, guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.